so today is the day <laughs> um today is the day that i'm gonna go try on wedding dresses um we would be going to rancho cucamonga i'm going with my future mother-in-law and my mother <laughs> um so yeah get ready with me to try on some dresses <laughs> This isn't the cutest bow. Is it too much? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to be using not too much makeup um, since I will be trying on white dresses or light colored dresses. It's better to not um, wear a lot of makeup, but it's totally up to you. Cause I went to my nearest um, store right here where I live and um, I tried on some. I tried on some with my mom, um, which it went pretty well. It definitely gave me a confirmation of the type of dresses I wanted, um, the type of style. So I have a mentality of kind of what I like. Um, and yeah, so I'm going really with an open minded. I do not want sleeves. That's um, something I do know. <laughs> um, I do not do sleeves. And I am um, plus size. So it's, I don't know. I just feel like this, where I'm going, the Rancho Cucamonga one, it's called Bella Esposa. It was recommended um, by someone. They said they were really good with like plus size and stuff. So that's why I'm so excited. Um, so hopefully it's easier than what I heard but yeah I'm just so excited <laughs> um but another somebody else recommended also um David's Bridal which um we're thinking we're probably gonna go um but we're not sure yet um but I mean it's always a hit or miss with David's Bridal I know oh this looks so bad um it's always a hit or miss with David's Bridal. I've heard really good things about it, and I've heard not so good things about it. Um, so I'm not sure how to feel about David's Bridal. But we are definitely going to look into it. If we have time, of course. And if I don't find my dress, then for sure we're definitely going to go to David's Bridal. Um, to see like if there's anything that I might be interested in. Um, hopefully I don't end up in my local... My local... Um, my local store and not because i have anything against my local store but um it's just i wanted something different you know i just i didn't want to go with the same same type of dress from here from where i'm at from where i'm from because where i'm from is a really small it's a really small place so i just don't want to end up getting a dress that someone already wore type of thing which i know it's gonna happen but you're getting my dilemma <laughs> um so yeah we'll see how it goes i'm so excited we're almost leaving my mother-in-law and my mom they're almost here um so apparently my dad's going to which my fiance is gonna um end up taking us so he's gonna end up taking us and um i guess he's gonna end up staying with my dad because they can't see me <laughs> but yeah i'm just so excited it's gonna be a nice experience and that i get to spend with my future mother-in-law and my mom um why while they hang around and just talk you know and and yeah like just get to know each other a little bit more since me and him have been together for we've been together for three years um but me and him are really close like we're not really like oh here's my like we never like it never crossed our mind that our parents like had to meet or anything like this because this would be our first time getting married um but yeah like we never thought like oh dang like our parents have to meet and stuff you know like we, it never really crossed our mind like if that has to happen <laughs> so so yeah now they need to meet my dad and my future father-in-law they already met which they they got along you know they it went well um so yeah now my mom, my dad has met my future mother-in-law, but 
yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes i know they're both really really good they're really nice my mother-in-law is really she's a great person so if anything i don't know why i didn't introduce her sooner to my mom <laughs> um but yeah i've been really blessed with um my future sister-in-laws and my future mother-in-law i'm just so grateful for them and how they've been with me i really couldn't have asked for a better um mother-in-law and future sister-in-laws <laughs> So yeah. And I said I wasn't gonna put that much makeup, but you know what? They didn't tell me not to. But yeah, um, so apparently it's gonna be raining over there, guys. And it's gonna be raining, so I don't know how to feel. um but yeah we'll see how it goes so i'll keep you guys updated i'm definitely okay that looks a little bit better so this one goes over here my hair is a little oh that looks so bad And I have my lipstick in my purse, so it's like a darker, darker shade of brown. And so you guys can see my whole hair type of thing. It is like a, like an updo with long curls. Um, so yeah. And let me put on my dress so you guys can see the whole look. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Um, I decided to go with the bow slash mini veil and the blue dress. <laughs> um it's a blue dress with the mini veil and my black sandals and my black sweater because i don't know what i'm doing but um i'm going with black because that's what i had i put my winter clothes away so now i don't have my sweater so yeah that is it guys so i'll keep you guys updated bye <laughs> Okay, so right here we were already heading wow. over. Um, as you can see, it was really cloudy and we finally arrived and started trying on some dresses. Um, they were so nice, so beautiful. Mind you this, these are dresses that I didn't pick. Oh, that A-line was beautiful. That train, oh my goodness, so beautiful. This was at my first location. It wasn't at the same one, but thought I'd add these in. Um, this one is a complete no. This one was so fun. That dress was one, so cute. Two, and three. my <laughs> say yes to my dress. Thank you guys. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>